There's only two people, two people. Right behind us, right behind us! Yo, let's go, baby! Oh my god, let's go! Good job, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over 14 essential pro tips and tricks that will help you win your first game in Call of Duty Warzone, which is the brand new Battle Royale mode. These are some tips and tricks that helped me win my first few games in Warzone and just overall simplified the process. So by the way, if you are new around here and this is your first time on the channel or you do watch my videos regularly and you haven't subscribed yet, join Turbo Nation today by hitting that subscribe button and for today's like goal i'm looking for 100 likes if we could hit that like goal i would really appreciate it so my first tip is going to be landing on the outsides of the circle your chances of dying early are way less as you will be able to focus on looting as much as you possibly can which will prepare you for the rest of your journey if you land where there are multiple enemies you put yourself and your team at risk for an early exit and you don't want that to happen so for tip number two parachuting has never been easier if you point straight down you're gonna nose dive faster to the map below you however if you've marked a place farther out located on the outskirts of the entire world just as i suggested in the first tip you can actually point in that direction soon as you drop then pull your parachute again and then just level yourself out towards the designated point of interest and then cut the parachute to launch you further horizontally if you repeat this process you should be able to make it to your destination and you can also parachute off of buildings as well whether you need to flee from enemies or traverse from one part of the map to another much faster if you do this remember to pull your parachute before hitting the ground or you will die and be sent to the gulag tip number three is going to be cash is king focus on saving as much money as possible it opens up so many advantages for yourself and your team and when you've saved up enough money it would be a good idea to buy yourself a uav a self-revive kit and lastly a gas mask if you do not find this item in any areas that you're looting ultimately you can also buy your teammates back at the nearest buy station in case they are killed if you're low on money you can accept contracts that can be found all around the game and completing them will give you cash as well as loot for tip number four body armor is key aside from looting weapons equipment and cash body armor should be on the top of your priority list without it you simply will not survive most gunfights also if you do get hit make sure to always remember to reapply your body armor at full capacity with extra in reserve if you don't have body armor you're pretty much screwed especially in the later parts of the game and you definitely need that in order to stand a chance in those gunfights and ensure security that you will win going up to the end game for tip number five before you spawn into the game and you your create a class menu make sure to create an effective loadout and this can go a long way when you or your teammates buy loadout drops this enables you to custom loadouts that you can't loot in the game and this is extremely helpful if you've been killed and won your match in the gulag you can communicate with your teammates to purchase a loadout drop if they have enough cash so when you drop back in you don't need to worry about scavenging for weapons so this is extremely helpful and a tip that a lot of people overlook all right for tip number six do not underestimate tactics equipment you should be prioritizing the stim shot and heartbeat sensor stim shot is extremely helpful for situations where you're the only survivor left and you've been tagged by enemies it quickly regens your health whether you're the only survivor on your team and are being shot by enemies or the gas cloud is slowly closing in on you and it's killing you using a stim shot will give you that extra reassurance that you will survive this is also helpful in end game situations when the circle is small enough it will come in handy and be a reason why you survive versus your opponents. And the heartbeat sensor is also helpful in tracking enemies that are in your immediate area. You can use it to navigate throughout the map while you're walking next to a building to check if it's clear for looting or if you're being tracked by enemies. You can keep using your heartbeat sensor to slowly flee away from a potentially bad situation. Do not overlook the heartbeat sensor. That one is definitely something that you should hold on to if you do find it around the map or at least have one of your teammates holding it if you already have the stim shot equipped. Tip number seven is have at least 
one long range weapon like a sniper or a marksman rifle and one close range like an AR. Many of your engagements are going to be at long range and you're going to need those weapons that are going to be able to compete from that range. So it's important to use a sniper or a marksman rifle. Those will be really helpful in tagging those opponents. Now for the assault rifles, I definitely do advise using those, especially when you're in close quarter combat situations. Assault rifles are also very useful in the end game situations, especially when you're using a gun with a really high fire rate like the M13. Or if you have multiplayer, you can use the Growl as your assault rifle, such as what I do. Every time there's a loadout drop, I do use my Growl class setup. So you want to have a broad range of flexibility when it comes to gunfights to make sure that you're well equipped for whatever comes your way. Tip number eight, I mentioned earlier, it's important to stay on the outskirts of the circle. Now, when the circle is ready to close, stay close to the borders, but keep your eyes peeled for enemies who are running away from the gas and in your direction. This will force your enemies to run, making them an easy target to kill. Tip number nine would be to always use cover or take high ground whenever possible. Giving yourself high ground position helps you have a bird's eye view of enemies around you while being protected by the height advantage that you have. It just makes it a lot harder for your opponents to aim in on you and target you when you're on a much higher ground than your enemies. Tip number 10, ping is king. Take advantage of the ping system to track your enemies for your teammates, point out weapons, and communication is so much easier with this ping system to call out enemy location, items, or interest points that you want to let your teammates know you're going to be headed to. This is extremely helpful when you're in situations where you're coming up on some enemies, your teammate does not see the enemies, you could easily ping them and point them out on the map and they'll appear as a red box so that your teammates can see exactly where the enemies are at. This makes it so much easier rather than having to call out the coordinates and the location of where those enemies are. So definitely remember to take advantage of the ping system and use it as often as you possibly can because communication and intel is key when winning a war zone match. Tip number 11 is to try not to kill off an enemy when you've downed him. Now, when you down an enemy, it serves as bait because their teammates will want to revive them. If you do kill an enemy, you give them a chance to earn a respawn through the gulag and they'll be back in the game before you know it. But instead, focus on the whereabouts of the down player's teammates. If you've downed the last person on their squad, all the previously down players will automatically die. So that's why do not get trigger happy and kill off a downed enemy. Enemy. Of course, there are exceptions to this rule, but for the most part, do not kill off a downed enemy. Instead, focus on the whereabouts of his teammates because for sure that downed enemy is definitely communicating with their teammates and letting them know where they're at and which direction they're headed in. So it's best that you focus on where this enemy's teammates are. Tip number 12, when traversing around the map, always stagger your movement. Try not to run around in straight lines when you're in open areas or unsuspecting enemies can easily kill you especially if they've got a sniper equipped. Staggering your movement and making your movements unpredictable make you a harder target to hit. Even when you're looting an area or your friends are looting and you're waiting around, remember to never stand still. It only takes that quick second for someone to get a nice headshot on you and before you know it, you're in the gulag or you're dead. Tip number 13, loot, 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 loot! Come on, loot! Do it! Never ignore buildings. If possible and the area around you is clear, try to loot every building as much as possible. It could be the difference between you finding something essential like a gas mask or a huge pile of money you need to buy yourself a self-revive kit. Also, don't forget to close doors behind you. Be courteous. Didn't your parents teach you these manners? Same thing applies in the game. Last thing you want is an enemy sneaking in and surprising you while you're looting a building. Now, of course, you don't want to focus too much of your time on looting a building, especially if you're outside of the zone, especially if you're outside of the safe zone. So always keep that in mind as well. But for the most part, try to loot as much as possible to make sure that you're well equipped for future gunfights. So my last and final tip, tip number 14, is to stay calm and be patient. I know, as simple as this sounds, Warzone is a marathon, not a race. 
It's about who is the last man standing. You can still win games without a single kill under the final seconds of the match. And it's important to be passive aggressive as you're facing other teams who are communicating and you will be outnumbered and ultimately killed if you aren't careful. For example, if you see an enemy, be patient and do not engage unless the moment is entirely clear and you have an escape route in case enemies teammates are after you after you've already given up your location. So remember, do not get trigger happy just because you see an enemy does not mean Mean that you should fire immediately always assess the situation every situation is going to be different sometimes it will be okay to fire on an enemy and sometimes it simply won't be because there might be other teams coming in and you might get third party you know you got to factor in all of these decisions and decision making and that's why you've got to stay calm and just be as patient as possible so that's about it for all of my tips these are tips that i've personally applied and that helped me win my games of warzone so hopefully you could take these tips apply to your game and hopefully get your first win if you do find this video helpful i would really appreciate a like we're trying to hit a like goal of 100 likes and if you're new around here and you want to find your way back to my channel for more war zone tips and tricks definitely hit that subscribe button and join turbo nation today i will see you guys in the next video have fun playing Warzone out there boys and girls peace